you all knew the World Tree's name, but hid it from us. Sorry, Mr. Tenneby. I suppose I can forgive you. After all, the World Tree is no longer under the dominion of Lord Ratatosk. It has been entrusted to a new tree spirit. Oh, right, which is apparently named Martell as well. Does it have some connection to the goddess Martell? I wouldn't call it a connection. They're one and the same thing. What? Think of it this way. There was this woman worshipped as a goddess. She risked her life to regenerate the world, and then she was reborn as a tree spirit. So the goddess became a summon spirit? This world doesn't have a goddess anymore? And what about the angels of Crucius? I cannot say for certain whether or not any gods exist, but Crucius, the host of angels so revered by the Church of Martell, no longer exists in this world. They set out for a destination much, much farther away than the heavens. Then they abandon humanity? There comes a time when all children must fend for themselves. Perhaps we should think of ourselves as having reached adulthood. I see. But now that we're without a goddess, what will become of the Church of Martell? Jerry's still out on that one. They might go on worshipping a god that's no longer there, or maybe they'll change their focus to Martell in her spirit form. Whatever the case, the Church of Martell is on the decline. It may just fade away on its own. Lloyd, do you have a moment? Sure, what is it? I existed in this world even before it was divided in two. This was before the existence of both Crucius and the goddess Martell, and naturally the religion founded in her name. Right, I guess that makes sense. The Church of Martell wasn't formed until after the world split. It was way back then that I first met a half-elf by the name of Martell. She had a brother, younger than she by some years. He was called Mythos, the boy now known as Mythos the Hero. You met Mythos? Yes. They were very close. At that time, they were searching for some way to save this world, the goddess Martell. Mythos the hero. I cannot believe that the name of Mythos's sister was mere coincidence. Does this mean that the origin of the Church of Martell is... Yes, it's just as you suspect. Then the spirit of this new tree truly is the Martell I once knew. It's not only Martell, though. Whatever became of Mythos? Have you heard anything? When we regenerated the world, Mythos lent us his power. Is that true? Then where is he now? Mythos became the world tree. Or at least that's what I believe. Hmm? Sorry I couldn't say anything earlier. Lloyd! Hey, we figured you had your reasons, but still you gotta let us join in the fun too. I plan to from now on. Please count on us. Besides, now that we're not spending all our time worrying about you, we can really focus on the task at hand. I don't know. Having Lloyd with us might give us more to worry about than ever before. What was that, Genus? I believe you'll be forced to endure accusations and aspersions wherever we go. Are you up to it? I'll just have to work to win back the trust I've lost one day at a time. I think that's all I can do. And we'll be there to help you. Hey, it's good to be back, everyone. something. How so? Well, I could be the being who might destroy this world, but you called me your friend. You put your trust in me. There's nothing special about that. Besides, you're the one that's incredible. Huh? I've seen the way you lived in spite of what you are. That's how I know I was right to believe in you. I really like guys like you. Really? Well then, Lloyd, you should also live in a way that merits the trust of others. Professor? I recall giving you some homework six months ago. I assume you've completed all of it? Professor, I'm 19 years old. I memorized my multiplication tables. Haven't I studied enough? Silence. Ever since the world was restored, you've done nothing but travel. You have yet to finish the curriculum. I will see that you finish what you've started. Come on. Lloyd. He was an artificial summon spirit created in Mel Tokyo. He had such cute paw pads. Yes, he did indeed. Oh, that's right, you're a summoner. Is Corinne with you now? No, not anymore. 
He was reborn as the summon spirit of Heart, Various. That's the summon spirit we're gonna see now. That's right. It brings back a lot of memories. Various. A summon spirit, just like me. I'd forgotten how handy Rayards are. Yeah, I agree with you for once, Shorty. I've always said a beautiful creature like myself belongs high in the majestic sky. Beautiful? You? <laughs> the dictionary in your brain has its definitions reversed. I have to agree, though. I've never felt anything quite like riding a Rayard. I mean, what person hasn't dreamt of flying? It seems to me we were doing just fine on foot. Is the Rayard not to your liking, Lady Marta? It's just... What keeps a hunk of metal like that in the air? It's thanks to Wiener's Law. That's Werner's Law, correct? Yeah, but there's nothing protecting you. If you fall, you'll die. Actually, we crashed in a Rayard once, but we're still here to tell about it. Marta, are you afraid of heights? Of course not! You just don't understand why everybody's so in love with the stupid Rayards, that's all! Lloyd, it's you! Dad, I'm back! It's good to see ya! I hope you don't mind looking after Noyce for a little while longer. You do what you need to do, and don't worry about a thing back home. That's what being a man is all about. Right. I envy you and your dad. I was never able to get along very well with my relatives. If you've got the desire, it's not too late to try. You still have time. What do you mean? You can do anything as long as you don't give up. Of course, I know that's not really true for everything. But that's no reason to stop trying. You're very sure of yourself. A lot of people tell me that. If I am, it's only because of the strength I got from my dad and everyone else. That's why I want to give my strength to others. That includes you, Emil. I feel like I understand why everyone stood up for you. I'm not sure if I'll ever be like you, but I'm happy I at least got the chance to know you. I'm myself and you're you. We're all different. That's what makes us all important. So let's go and see Various and find a way to keep you around. So the guardian of the world tree? Ewan. Right, Ewan. Is he an acquaintance? We crossed paths when we were restoring the world. He always looks a bit cross, but he's really doing all he can to find happiness. Actually, Colette, that's not exactly... Hmm, I think I know what you mean. He looks like he doesn't have much happiness in his life. Really? Hmm, that's one way to say it. You could also say the guy's just got no luck. Hey, hey guys, let's stop talking about him behind his back, okay? Don't forget, he helped us out quite a bit. Then again, he's caused his fair share of trouble, too. Sounds like a pretty complicated guy. I guess good looks aren't everything.
So Varius is here? Well, actually, he's inside people's hearts. So I think we'll be able to meet him no matter where we are. It's just that I think it might be easiest to contact him here. Okay. Emil. What's the matter, Marta? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it.
you're gonna get some. care for the taste. Leave me alone, Zealous. You took a question you haven't even answered for yourself and piled it on Emil's shoulders. But you knew you were doing it as you did it, and you regret it. Am I wrong? What do you mean? What question? I mean the one that goes, let's see now, which Emil do I like the best? spirit of heart. I'm sure it won't be much longer before he arrives. You called Gina? Corinne! So you're the summoned spirit of heart. Ratatosk. No, Emil. I see your heart is a very sad color right now. You are conflicted. I... A pact with me is something made in the heart. Once your heart has made its decision, Amil, I will give you my help. So please, give careful thought to how it is you wish to live. What do you mean, Various? I will protect Emil's heart in the manner it desires. However, he is still undecided as to what he wishes to do. He... That's true. It's hard to make a decision like that about yourself so suddenly. I shall appear and lend you my power when you wish me to. Let us meet again when you have come to a decision. I'm sorry to have dragged you all the way out here. Don't worry about that. You're the only one who can solve the problems inside you. We'll wait for your decision. Thank you. Emil, what's the matter? 
This awareness is... The door to the Ginunga Gap is about to open. Lady Martha, what about the rest of the city? I say we should take whatever we can. What are you doing? What did you do to Paul Macosta? It's Lloyd Irving. Marta, I, I guess that, I guess that I really am Ratatosk. Emil. Lloyd, I'm so sorry. I took Lumen's core from you, and that wasn't right. I just betrayed your trust. No. You came back to us. You haven't betrayed me at all.
Anyway, this is no place to have a long discussion. Why don't we go back to town? Yes. you're doing? You ain't entering the church. That's my dad's voice. Are you hurt? I'm fine. If us dwarves are anything, we're tough, that's for sure. Dirk, tell us what happened. I guess you felt that earthquake, right? Well, a whole mess of monsters started flooding into town right after that. The earthquake must have been caused by the negative energy emanating from Nivelheim through the opening in the door of the Genungagap. But wait... Why did the door open up in the first place? I thought it couldn't be opened while Ratatosk was still alive. Indeed, but Lord Ratatosk has lost some of his centurions, so his power has diminished accordingly. In addition, the Vanguard has been spreading the type of negative energy the demons love. The violence around the world. Correct. The scent of blood has loosened the restraints on the door. This must have been Richter's intent from the beginning. For now, Lord Ratatosk is just barely managing to hold the door closed. But if the situation does not improve, the monsters will break their bonds with the Centurions, and this world will become one with Nivelheim. Yes, what Tenebrae said is true. The only way left is for me to regain my power and to seal the door. Emil, no, I mean, Ratatosk. Is that the reason why you attacked Lloyd and took Lumen's core from what's him? What's wrong with me taking back what's rightfully mine? If you're gonna get in my way, then I won't hesitate to defeat you all. Stop! Stop! Stop!
Are you gonna get in my way? One thing's certain. I won't let you hurt them. I won't let you hurt my friends! You fool! Richter opened the door! What are you gonna do about that? The only choice we have is for me to fully regain my power! No, there is another way. You... you mean... you're going to... Don't you see? I am you. You and I have to take responsibility for what we've done. Do you understand what you're saying? Various! Lend me your power. I know that you can see what my heart has decided. Yes, I understand. Sorry. I'm okay now. Emil, what happened? I felt Corinne's, uh, Various's presence. So that would mean that you made up your mind? Yes. I had Various seal away Ratatosk's personality. The only thing that's left for us to do now is to get the other Centurion's cores back and then close off the Ginungagap. Marta, Lloyd, everyone, please. I need your help. So you've chosen to live your life as the summon spirit Ratatosk. Well then, I'll be happy to help you as much as I can as your friend. Me too. I will help you protect the door. It'll be my honor. Count me in too. I mean, you are my friend, right? This pressure that I feel, if this is the effect of the demonic realm, then please let me help you get rid of it. If Corinne is helping you out, then there's no way that I won't do the same. Tenebrae, do you have any objections? Uh, no. Emil, I'll give you the Centurion's cores I have. Thank you, Lloyd. We should make preparations for the trip first. I agree. And Emil, if you're really resolved to guard the Ganungagop door as Ratatosk, then I think it's important for you to say goodbye to all the people who've helped you in your life. Yes, you're right. I'm sure we all have matters we'd like to tie up before we go. Let's split up for now. Let's agree to meet back in Ultimir. Until then. Oh, 
Uh, sure. I guess that'd be fine. Really? Okay, then let's meet in Altamira tonight. Sure, got it. Final time as Emile Castanier. I've got to take one long last look at this world. Take stock of what I've left undone. Finish the job.